Hello, everybody. Welcome back to more Undermine Other Mind Time Constraints. So we're playing this mode time. <laughs> also, I feel like going in a relatively uh, back and forth between Undermine and Other Mind mode kind of gives everybody like a little bit of thank goodness we get to talk about the uh, spirit today. A little bit of back and forth, a little bit of uh, goodness for everyone. And oh my god multiple potion slots i will talk about why that's good in a second with this new pet uh for now let's pick up wealth because gold income right away is just a really good thing to go for on this mode uh enemies explode in arrows after crit or unstable concoction this one may surprise you but i'm gonna go with unstable concoction because in this mode everything is super uh it, it, the consumables and pickups are very very stingy and you need quite a bit of them. Increase fall damage, sure. Instead of taking one damage literally every time you jump. Uh, yeah, the pickups are very stingy. So when you have gold, sometimes drop on the ground and open up secret rooms for you. Or sometimes, you know, like, a, hell, like, that could have even been a secret room right there. Uh, sometimes open up secret rooms or crawl spaces. That's fantastic. And bonus points, maybe, possibly... It'll make it so... You know what? Lava walkers, they're good, they're good enough. Maybe make it so you can kill an enemy quicker. I don't know. Who cares? Kind of nice. But yeah, lava walkers, they're, they're not bad. They're not great. The thing I like most about them is probably the fact that you get fire immunity from the floor, I guess. I don't know. It's kind of nice for Nori. Emphasis on kind of... Oh, you know, it's probably actually that you get to uh, cook all the food. You get to cook literally all the food. Just by going like... Doink. It's cooked. If you really want to spend a lot of time, it can be quite nice. Was it worth a reroll? Yeah, I mean, maybe. I mean, maybe. But I really felt like we probably would get more value later. Because I think we would have one reroll left. But anyways, it's probably time to talk about uh, the spirit here. What does he do? Why is he one of the ones that I said can break the game? Great questions. Let me tell you. First of all, you may have noticed we got an extra potion slot. We got two extra ones from the, the chest in the beginning as well. Uh, that, that's his level one perk. At level two, he gets the chance to find an additional potion in chests. Like quite a bit, quite often, really, really often, you get potions out of chests. And then Uno Mas is his, uh, his finale there, his rank three, which makes it so when you drink a potion, sometimes you drop yet another potion. See, it, it can be really, really good already with, with base game unlocks due to the fact that if we get Miner's Flask and we pick up, like, over time we're going to be picking up, you know, maybe all of the... Oh, let's just ditch this for now. Uh, we're going to be picking up all of the little upgrades like the attack speed up, damage up, uh, crit up, potions. We get Miner's Flask or something, baby, you got a stew going. Like, yeah, if you're worried about dying in boss fights, this, bo uh, this boss right here kind of makes that less likely. Just, just immediately. Just by existing with you. He's a son of a gun. He's really good. He's really good. Uh, there's a couple potions that we need to still unlock yet that I think we will need to be playing on... Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Should I get the... Let's go with the item. I think we need to be playing on the regular mode to get them. I will reroll the tent because I am a dirty boy. Uh, yeah, there's, there's some potions that are truly way more broken, and they are what makes the spirit even crazier. There's all kinds of things that manipulate your blessings... Uh, giving you all kinds of extra ones, like, all over the place. And it truly can get out of hand, in addition to the fact that uh, I mentioned that there is a way to kind of generate infinite-ish gold, kind of. Oops. And uh, let me tell you, the spirit is largely the way to do it. You can do it on other, on other pets, with other pets and everything, but very, very much... Potions are the key to success there. See, there's our first... Oh, there's our first situation where Unstable Concoction helped us gain access to a secret room that we would have otherwise needed to bomb for. Very handy, and it's definitely not going to be the only time. Boink. But, hey, look at that. Decent, decent, 
decent chunk of change. But I'm, I'm liking this run already. We got like little tiny bits and bobs that shouldn't probably mean a lot yet. See, I want that. And the way that this pet gives us experience is through drinking potions, if you if you didn't figure. So a really early, um, early, it doesn't even have to be early. A relatively early pet biscuits potion. You could probably see how it could go a really long way. Uh, because not only does it give you double experience or whatever, or however much extra experience, it gives you experience itself too. So it's kind of, it's kind of a, a best of both worlds scenario. You get uh, everything but the kitchen sink, and then you also get the kitchen sink at the same time. It's really, really nice. Uh, but like I said, we don't have a lot of the game, more game breaky potions. I really feel like that's a secret room. Really feel like that's a secret room. We don't have a lot of the game breaky potions yet. One bomb, two chests. But we still, I think we can still have a really, really good time with this pet. You can generate a lot of curse removal potions and stuff like that. You can generate all kinds of power through potions. You can, you can have runs that totally suck. Like they just, your items, they just suck. But this pet can carry you through, um, the stat up potions. If you, you, you get another way to basically get lucky. We might as well do this, I guess, but... Yeah, thank you. Look at that. Hmm. An extra option at the altar sounds really, really nice. Also, obviously, a potion. It's a... I kind of want to buy up all of the potions that are pretty good. Like, that will obviously have a use. You know, I'm going for it. I'm happy I did. Arachnophobia's <laughs> kind of... Kind of stank, though, at the same time. Not not because it's, like, that tough to deal with. It's just annoying. But we did increase our Omegalol chance by 5% now. Even if we remove said curse, we still increase our chance by 5%. Yep. So I probably will, just because... Like I said, I mean, honestly, biggest reason? Time constraints. Are they annoying? Yes. Are they run-endingly annoying? I don't know, maybe if you're new and you don't know how to dodge their their specific attacks very well, they could be, I guess. But I consider it to be in the camp of, like, there's there's curses, major curses that are annoying, and then there's major curses that are, like, unbelievably t annoying to deal with because they might kill you. Uh, bip, bip. And I think that that one's a little bit more in the just just annoying camp because it's it's a pretty easy enemy. It can be really it can be really nasty, but there's other ones that more directly destroy your dreams than than that in my opinion. Might be fun to kind of do like a uh, every undermine curse ranked thing. We did the uh, we we did rank every um we we're, first of all, we're going to need to get them all. I, uh, I think that'd be a down the line thing. Once again, unstable. Whoop. Concoction. I, I thought that was the potion. Unstable concoction coming in handy. Ayo, hey, hey, hey. Ayo. Looks like we're going a little bit more towards a swing run. I should have checked my stuff here. Yeah, we really have a blank slate. We got a, a blank slate. A lot of times, the stuff you get right away can kind of push you towards one direction, either one or the other. Uh, not today. We basically... Oh, look. The shop is missing a relic. I know better than to pick it up. Let's let's be honest. Is it a bad item if you use it? No, not really. I know better than to pick it up. Oh, yeah. 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 All right, you know what? I'm going to pop this early. This should put us back to full. And then pop and go, pop and go, pop and go. Okay, I'm, I'm actually, I'm really happy we did. We just have less practice with this boss. I think over the course of time, this boss will become uh, less troublesome than Ponzu. And Ponzu will, will be still a punk. I think that, at least for, for other mind mode, oh, 
Ponzu will will be the the most annoying boss due to the fact that the HP scaling on all the pets can be rough. And you can just get overwhelmed. You can actually get overwhelmed. Hello. Oh. You punk. Should we have done it? Eh, I don't know, maybe not. I'm fine with the fact that we did. But he's very, very pattern-based. I think the reason we've had uh, annoyance with him in our regular undermine mode, for the most part, is just due to the fact that we, we aren't very familiar with him. And he has, like... 5,000 HP, because that's just how the base game goes, you know? Uh, attack, damage, or health? You know what? I'm gonna be a good boy for once. I'm gonna get one health. Chance on hit to chain lightning. Sounds a little bit better. Relics have a chance to be turned into potions. If there's ever a day to take this... It would be today. New and more dangerous pilfers. This one's pretty annoying. It's like, it, this one's like really quite annoying. I'm gonna do it. If there's ever a time where this is okay, it's today. We can maybe hit rank three quicker. I'm not saying that I think that it is a benefit to have this. I'm really genuinely not. The way that it could be, though, is making it so the, uh, Really? That poison stayed on the ground for quite a while. Making it so the sh shop uh -oh. thing turns into a potion. See, like, if this was... Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. If that was a relic and it turned into that, that's, like, an extraordinarily amazing win-win there. Get out. Uh, da, da, da. Please, help me. Okay. Thank you very much. Obviously, go get this. It is throw size. Don't really care. Don't really care. Uh, honestly, it might be a good idea to just pick that up and just sit on it. You know? Just, like, keep it. Looking for antimatter potion would be my favorite right now. It solves so many issues all at the same time. Oh, God, that was so close to being such dumb damage. Such bad damage. Okay. We could get more curses. No! No! Oh, jeez, oh, Lord! This is feisty, man. What are you? I, you, I'm actually wondering what, why is the poison actually? It, it lasts on the ground after they fire their attack, but visually it doesn't. So what is that about? Let's remove the curse and kill ourselves. Um. Okay. Step one: check this room. There might be gold in here. No, there's not. That really would have been the dream, huh? All right. All right. So. What if we pop in here and this has a potion that helps it? You gotta be kidding me. What a terrible, terrible potion. Okay. Uh, I just really want eight gold. Is that so much to ask? I just want eight gold. Oh, uh, are we doing this? Are we seriously doing this? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. We're fine now. We just, uh... We just got enough to get the... Gold... Gold glycerin? Gold glycerin? As long as we just don't take damage on the way to the shop here, we are... Completely fine. What? We could obviously use this, like, as a safe bomb... Which would be, you know, like, not a bad idea in any sense of the word. The bomb bag is so tempting. Three bombs for 150 is not, like, a good deal, but, like, it's the same price <laughs> as buying three individual bombs. Like, you're not getting a deal. It just feels like it. 
All right. All right. All right. We're fine. The question is, should I remove my curse? Should I try to remove my curse? That's really my big old Q of the D. Like, I hate that it costs 50. Uh, oh. Okay. All is well in the world now. So, like I said, as, as much as this is the best day for that, I really would much rather not <laughs> have it. Like, I would not call it, we will take this with us. Actually, let's use it right now. Let's use it right now and hopefully not fall into the pit. All right, because it's gonna, it's gonna run out, hopefully. Watch there be like a golden pilfer in it. Okay, I was gonna say. Golden pilfer that like somehow just knocks us into the pit. I don't know if skeletons can be in secret rooms, can they? I totally am pulling that out of my, my patoot. I don't know. I'm just kind of just trying to waste time here for this potion. I mean, like, that would that would be very, very dumb, obviously. Okay, potion's gone. Whoop up, whoop up. I think that I've maybe, like, been, uh, been treating this run like we're... It's easier than it is for the beginning here because undermine the base mode. F floor four, you don't have to do anything. You just, basically, you just beat it by existing. You vac ban that man. Vac ban that man. Uh, you basically do just beat that mode just by literally existing. Uh, on floor one, at the very least, is what I meant to say. But on this, you do have to undermine, other mine, you have to uh, genuinely try on the first floor sometimes, like most of the time, especially when you don't have a really, really strong uh, damage start. We have a pretty strong utility start, but not a strong, like, strong start. Oh, God. We need that and we need to cook it. Wait, was that a bombable wall? How would we know? Okay. I was going to say, how would we actually know that? We could get 150. We can. Oh my god! What's happening today, man? What's happening? Why am I so bad at the video game nowadays? Why am I so bad? What is happening? Grab this. Go out here. Hell, let's just use this potion. See if it works for us. Oh my god, man! Like, I just- I need some more strength. Quick. ASA pronto. Oh, give me gold tooth and I'll do it. If we get gold tooth, I will do that in a heartbeat. Forgot these can be mimics. I checked anyways, but I forgot. No recipe. Is it because you were a mimic or something? Is there some reason why you didn't give a recipe? Oh, come on. I definitely don't care about Sears Bomb. Um, here's how things could go well, is if there's a secret room up top, there's not. There'd be a secret room to the left of the shop. Probably not, I think we found all of them. Man, I really wish we could have gold glycerin. Um. This heals for like 20? How much does it give us? It's not gonna give us 150, is it? You know, desperate times, desperate measures. We could use it to bomb stuff, but I'm just like, hey, we got the level up too. Desperate times, desperate measures. Okay, so it gave us... Okay, okay. Obviously, that was a good trade. Maybe we should sell something. Maybe we should sell something. Obviously, that was a, <laughs> that was a no brainer good trade. Can't be a secret over there. That's on sale. Okay, let's go. You don't really need any more potion slots. 
Like, four is plenty. I would go as far as to say, like, I don't know if we're gonna ever have four. Well, I don't know if we're ever gonna need to carry four from one floor to the other. And that's really the only point where uh, potion slots really matter is stocking up specifically for a boss or uh, carrying on to the next floor. Don't got flight. I passed it up. Oh, I thought the fire would do it. I had my hand off my keyboard. Secret room? Okay. Okay. We in we in there. We back we back at it again. This is uh this is definitely one of the old one of the old scramblers. That's for sure. This is not a clean run in any sense right now. Like, we don't have much power. We have good utility. And even that, I'd say, like, I don't know if we... I don't know if I'm telling the truth when I say we have good utility. Oh, it's a mimic. Come here. Oh! <laughs> He's got mad hops! Mad hops, man! The hell? Da -da. No! Come on! This is seriously, like, some of the worst set of items. Like, oh my god. This game. Some days. Some days. It is just so much of a troll. I, like, I'm tempted to even just do the curse chest, because maybe we can get Omega Lull, and maybe we can get something there that'll help our run out. Maybe? Oop. Okay. Cook all meat. We literally... We, we just basically have to right now. Just cook all meat. As lame as it is to take all that time to do so. We gotta. We gotta. Minimal discount. Minimal discount hype. Because cooked food. <laughs> and we do get to, you know, we get the value out of our potion. Yada yada. This boss is gonna be kind of rough, I think. I'm tempted to just co eat, like, pick up that food without cooking it. Oh. Well, I didn't, I didn't want to do it after the combat. I was gonna say because I'm worried that they're gonna break it. Alright. Maybe, 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 maybe. Please be gold in here. Oh. I'm ready to accept the penalty if it happens. Okay, I thought it was... I really thought it was gonna break that. Really did. Great. Meant to do it. Meant to do it, of course. 21. We don't have enough. Uh, we're definitely gonna go... Pick this son of a gun up. Oh. Mm. All right. All right. Please. I would not mind. I would not mind Selt. I would not mind. Oh, wait a minute. I would not mind Selt. Three. Oh, God. I used my potion too early. Didn't I? No, I didn't use it yet. Okay, good. But not my cellar, but not my mortar. Not right now. Not right now. I'm just too dang. Right. Too dang flimsy. All right. Well, if we can beat, if we can beat Ponzu, it's gonna be really, really nice to have him out of the way. Oh god. I really do prefer throw runs on this fight than to, to swing runs. Attack speed scenario is really mediocre. Okay. So far, so fine. Issue is, I think we might get three heads. 
Yeah, we were right over the limit into three head turf. Right over the limit into three head turf. The good news is I think we're still in three head turf. I don't think we activated four, which is really kind of the optimal situation right there, I think. Because don't, oh, you don't want to exist in four head turf for very long. Dear God. Because it's a mess. Because it's an absolute mess is why. Oh, God. Because it's an absolute mess. Ah. Duplicator is very fun to get. It makes it so every time you enter a uh, an item room, you get two options. It's really nice. I... It may be the only way. It may be the only way. Honestly, I can't, I can't, as much as this really, really, really sucks with what we've got, I can't even, I could not stomach taking a damage down right now. I'm just, it would hurt that much. One of these has got to be. I could not stomach a damage down. We're just doing just not enough already. Oh, I almost got out of it clean. Actually, this is not a new room. You only take damage when you enter new rooms. Really? <gasps> oh! Alright. Dreams are coming true. Dreams are coming true. Dreams are coming true. I knew if we just slapped together this run good enough, we would eventually have our dreams come true. You, What is happening? Why is this... I seriously think somebody cranked the trollometer up to like 11 here. It's also especially annoying because it looks like mimic versions of those don't drop um don't drop recipes. That's really the most annoying part of that. Okay. Uh We got to be careful we have the zap zap. Oh no. Oh god, I got to drink this otherwise we take damage every freaking room. Ah! That was not not wise. I'll admit it was also not on purpose either, so. Thank you. Nine, ten. I prefer very much to uh, kill those sons of guns with range damage, but you know, you can always get what you want. Try sometimes to get what you need. Show me some food. Let me stack it. Oh. Probably that was, I shouldn't have bought that. Uh, but boom, probably should have held on to it and definitely should be cooking these. Alright, save those. Save those. We're starting the uh, the chain of events here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah! Alright, video game. I will forgive you. I will forgive you. Okay. I will forgive you. Uh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. We don't have a very high crit chance in any way <laughs> at all, but I think it's fine. I think it's fine. Oh, oh. This is our way in. This is our way in. It's the only way. Felt like there was a secret room there that it. Yeah, I was gonna say. Felt like there was a secret room there that it just didn't quite reach. I'm not gonna really sacrifice health right now, though. We are eternally in peril this run. Eternal 
Peril. Eternal internal peril. The me story. Stop it. Okay, item room over there. No way. Jose. Hey, it'll help me with room clear. I'll take it. It's not a wow item. Like, it's not hip hip hooray. That's amazing. But it will help me with room clear. I just don't want to take too long. But there might be food in this chest. Oh. Okay, that was a dream. Drops two potions. Oops. Okay, we can find a way to take a lot of damage from that. I, I pour that, I feel. So this counts as fire damage. Okay. That's good to know. That makes... I mean, it makes sense. It's molten gold. Molten gold. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take this very strange... Strange run. I'll admit... It's another run that does not feel like it's happened before. Oh... Can I really... 400? I feel like it's not worth it, is it? There's not even any relics. There's no point in watching it, by the way. I'm pretty sure it's 100% random. Come on. <gasps> that wasn't even on there. Cracked orb. When we hit an enemy with our throw, it makes it so they take a little bit more uh, damage from all sources. So we want to hit them with our throw, and then we start swinging. Stop. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. We got this. We can scrape together this run. Whomp. Scrape it together. Oops, I did not mean to do that. I don't really want to buy the full one there. Okay. Okay, cook it. So we, like, ah, we have a weird scenario where we kind of want to, I can't jump. Can't jump when you're in the, uh, the oil. We want to throw first, but the swing throw combo, clearly, it just does not work that direction. You have to do it the other way. Four keys. I think I'll do it. I think it's a fine trade. It might be a little late for that to be super relevant. Ursa Major save my marriage. Oh my god, you guys have so much health. And you don't really. Like, you really don't. But, boy, it feels like that when you <laughs> just do terrible damage. Oh god. But hey, Ursa Major will keep us alive. It's a, it's like a... It's, it's, a, it's a helpful thing for now. I'm gonna do this just to level up there. So now every time we use a potion, we have a chance to get another potion. Just straight up. Just when we use a potion, we might drop another one on the ground. Just like, boom, just like that. Oh, God. We need to move quick, though. We want to make sure we get the... Ooh, not that quick. Oh, double hit by the same one. All right, there we go. That'll be nice. Fortitude makes it so we receive less damage. It's a new blessing we just unlocked recently. Very, very handy. Pick up one, save the rest for later. You really, really want to make sure you stagger these. Uh, my concern right now is that the boss fight will take so long with our current setup that we will lose Ursa Major by the next floor. That's my current concern. Because as you can see, our damage is not impressive and at all. <laughs> In any way. To anyone for any reason. Boink, 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 boink. I mean, we can reflect some projectiles. Oh. If we have our pickaxe in our hand. Oh, 
I forgot about you. <laughs> Do it later, but I just want to make sure we don't lose our buff. In fact, it may, it'll be better if we do it later. Let's do it on the way out of this room. I, I want power. I want power, dang it. Where are we at? Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'll admit, that one's better. <gasps> You're saying there's a chance. Oh. Okay. We don't have it yet, but we do have a boy who make potions. Oh god. And there are potions that double your uh, double your bombs and there is a potion that uh, you know, switches your bombs and keys. There's a there's an avenue for success here. There's an avenue for success. It will be a smidgen away. But there's a chance. There's a chance. I could see it happening. On a, on a run where we didn't have Spirit as our pet, I would say, <gasps> I would say maybe not, but we do, we are on literally, very literally, exactly on a run with Spirit as our pet, so. That's uh, not an argument. What is our bomb damage? 98. 98. 98, you say. 98, you say. Where the hell is a place with two darn rocks in the same place? There's, got, there's none? On the, I don't believe you. I do not believe you. Boy, oh boy, this is just quite, quite a weird one today, ain't it? Ain't it, gang? Ain't it, gang? Oh my god. It's a, it's a chunker in all the wrong ways. Take it. Go. Thank you. I think we use bombs. Honestly, I think we use bombs later on. Not not right at this at this point of the fight, but Oh. Maybe this point. Okay. Just mark them all. Not good. Okay. We, we got the zap though. We got to stay out out of like, out of the water, which is annoying. Okay, pop. God, yeah, just the zap. The fact that we zap the waters. God, it's so annoying. It's the only way to make this fight hard is to make it hard for yourself and that is exactly what we've done all right still it's still by far the easiest boss i think maybe well i should say by far when self exists oh no i did it twice <laughs> did it twice all right well we get to keep our uh, our buff very very good go 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 move it Go, 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 move it. Swing damage. I guess I'll radiate heat in an AoE. Both of these suck. Firefall from the sky. No, wait, actually, one of them sucks significantly less. This makes it so fire falls down from the ceiling and puts uh, little pools of fire on the ground. The good news is it makes it so enemies get set on fire. And not us, because I have fire immunity. There's literally no issue with it right now. I really feel vibes. Bad vibes, though. Okay. Go, 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 go. Just really need to make sure we find... Uh... Oh, my God. 
find another uh, source of meat. Huh. Source of meat. Oh, don't can't wombo combo those. I mean, one of these is probably a shop. Oh. I mean, thank you. Okay. I'll, I'll take it. Even though I would have loved to have cooked it, I appreciate it. Power. Thank you. That is power. That is great power. It makes it really, like, going from no attack speed boosts to an attack, like, an attack speed boost really, really helps. And by no attack speed boost, I'm saying no permanent ones. Obviously, we get a boost. Ooh! Woo. Obviously, we get a boost when we enter a room. But that it ain't it ain't permanent. It goes away. Yep. Literally just standing by those guys, bops them. It's one of the benefits of the large ember doing that little AoE there. Oh, that's why. We got a little, uh, little pocket, pocket potion. I got a pocket, got a pocket full of uh, meat. Hold on, hold on a second. Mm. So now we can uh, really pay attention to when that is going to run out, and we can just pop our potion if we feel like we have a situation where we literally will not be able to, uh, to get meat in time. All right, this run is now, it, it's its something. Blessed be to Ursa Major. The item that, I hate to say it, but totally 100% needs to be moved. Uh, I don't even feel like using that potion with that bomb immunity. It's just, I don't like, I don't like using it. Oh, oh, that hurts. Okay. I see there. Get ready to use our potion. I would love if there was meat in here so we didn't have to. Mm -hmm. Alright. Darshi blows. Okay. Might as well. This is really handy though. And look at that. Now we're busted. We're totally busted. And this pet is just going to continually feed itself strongness. Strongness. I'm being curious about that. Oh, 731 health. Just like that. Just like that. That's all it takes. One item. It's a, like, that's the thing about roguelikes, roguelites that have, definitely have RNG as a very real component in the items you get. It, it comes down to a lot of times, you know, playing well enough to uh, to make it to a floor where you maybe will have a better shot of getting a, another item that may be the one. So while we did get screwed on RNG and we did not play like amazing. Oh God. Okay. Well, we need to do that. Obviously, if we can. Very important if we can. Yep, two keys. It's a meta progression thing. I don't even remember what that is. I think he's just a guy. I think he just is there. I don't think he is a vendor or anything. Okay. Still at that 500 rod. Oh my god. The beauty. That was some beautiful chitin right there. Ooh, baby. I learned how to play the video game again. All right, I would love two keys. Thank you. I would love two keys, one heart, can't lose. It's a, you know, it's a bummer to put them towards a, a meta progression thing in a way instead of something that's gonna help this run since this run very much totally needs help. There might be stuff up there though. 
All right, Hungry Ghost. We heal when we kill enemies. Hello there. Have you spoken with any of my crew? Is he as much they are? Thank you for releasing me. I would not have lasted much longer. I will return to surface. The wizard owes me for all that I've done for him. Our souls are forfeit. We have become like animals. I will soon reap what I have sown. Yeah, Kurtz is crazy, but we did what we had to do. Rest in peace, Biggs. I don't like the way Kurtz looks at me and the other crew members. I'm sure he's gone mad. I mean, it's like a cannibal item, right? He's, you kill, kill enemies to heal. Kurtz is a cannibal. Confirmed. Confirmed! But that's one of the few items that I think is... I don't know. I, I, I feel like I've been totally in a fine place with my curses this run. I don't want to... I don't really want to put myself in uh, more peril. Oh! And we've been, we've been fine. And I don't know, maybe if we got some nasty curses, we would be dead right now. So I don't know if I want to mess with it, man. Worth cooking? Probably, I guess. Gold! I like gold. Okay. This is gonna be, yeah, I was gonna say, this is gonna be an entire room of electricity, that's for sure. Probably shouldn't pick that up right now, but that's okay right now. Nope, not worth my time. Also, I don't even have 400 gold, regardless. <laughs> doink, doink. Doink, doink, a boink. You should die by fire, right? Okay, never mind. Rip up, up. I don't even know why I came in here. We don't have very much money. Potion's tempting. If we had enough right now, I'm pausing because I don't want my timer to tick down. Uh, actually, doink, that's why. That's a good idea. We'll pop back before we leave. I was gonna say, this is a good at least a good idea because we could maybe get it in one, but we didn't. <gasps> oh, perfect. We got the final dog. Normally this would be an achievement if I didn't already have it. Vorpal Blade is my favorite blade. One of my favorite items in the entire game. And honestly, I didn't even know if it was unlocked or not yet. Because that was, a uh, Vorpal Blade was an item that was added later in development uh, of one, yeah, I can't remember. Before 1.0? I don't know when. Actually, these are just no-brainers, because if you bomb a spot that has a couple rocks, you just gain gain money out of it. <gasps> oh. Take a lot less damage, redirects it to your max health. Gang? If we keep... If we keep... Ursa Major alive, we've just won. I, I will say that, like, I can con basically confirm that right now. The way these two were <laughs> synergized together is so ridiculous. If we can truly just keep it together, which I'm, I'm making sure we can, uh, we get enough money to buy food right there. If we can keep those together, keep that buff. Ladies and gentlemen, like, we've, uh, we've won already, if that's the case. Okay. After 10 curses, this opens up and gives us consumables. Uh, we're on the final floor of the game, so there's no point. All right. One room, then backtrack. Whoop. One room, then backtrack. Okay. Uh... If we have to backtrack a lot, we have to backtrack a lot, but this much health plus soul guard. It's going to be nuts, dude. It's going to be nuts. So we pay, we take like a lot less damage. I don't know how much less, but it comes off of our max health, and we are not normally supposed to have this much max health. So if we can keep it, that's why I'm saying this is busted. 
because we just could I could not feasibly with this much HP and that much damage reduction from Soul Guard, I could not feasibly see how we could lose against the final boss. That's where I'm at. That's where I'm at. Okay, thank you for putting a shop right here so we don't have to backtrack. Hip. Point, point. Yay! Okay. Uh, 720. It's fine. 720p. Fine. All right. Pick up another. Thank you very much. Pick up another and another for your mother. Oh, no. Damage over time is still really good, though. Uh-oh. Okay, this would, this is the this is the test right here. But yeah, damage over time seems like it still messes us up something fierce. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Trying to I guess I'm trying to prove how we can mess this up, huh? I mean, these guys suck like a lot. Like I really I really without the proper build they're terrible. Terrible. And I don't know that we necessarily have the right build to, to truly style on him. Okay, is there two? There are two. All right. Are you kidding me? Stop. Damage over time seems to wreck it still. As always, damage over time is the one thing that truly just messes everything up. All right. It's just, there's no, there's no point. There's actually no point. All right, Savage Serum. Whiplash Serum. Sure. Drink this in case we drop another potion. Okay, go. Who do we got? Celt? Alright. Alright. Should be good. Should be fine. This is not as much a uh, can we do enough damage to kill run as it is a I hope we kill fast enough so that our buff does not run out. That's basically where we're at. Like, we don't need to do a ton of damage and kill crazy fast, but we need to kill medium. Medium fast. This buff will probably... It will probably run out. Like, I would go as far as to say we're, we are invincible until that buff runs out. I would go as far as to say that. And then we're very, very, very back to Vincible. Oh, God. Honestly, we can actually tank it. We can actually tank it. That's crazy. Oh, boy. We're doing it. Oh, what? Stop. I can't. I don't know what, why they changed it or how they changed it, but I promise you used to not be able to smuggle them. We're about to lose our buff. It's all down to this. It's all down to this. Oh, no. Let's run. Carried exclusively on the back of one item now has had the item removed I think we're I think we're gonna be okay soul guard will carry us now share the load or some major share the load oh boy okay we've done it he said prematurely okay Smorgy! Champion of the universe! Thank you for supporting on Patreon. You get to claim that run. Rags to riches. Longest by far other mine run we've had on this series here. And hell, we got a we got a flight potion just to uh, just to float. Just to float. Boom! We are on a streak of six for other mine. Thank you very much. Hope for watching here oh baby 
I greatly appreciate it. Thank you very much to Smorgy for supporting on Patreon. Getting your name on a peasant. If you want to help support the channel, link in the description. You get your name put right at the tip top of the list if you're a brand new supporter. You get your name on a peasant and get a run to claim for yourself. But that is going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Thank you, thank you. Subscribe for more Undermine every day at 1 p.m. Central. Thank you, thank you, and I'll see you next time. Bye.